Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. Last time we completed Driver's Beware. This time, or Driver's Seat, yeah, the console's car. Phelps, take it away, will ya? Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Oh, uh, that guy reminds me of The Miz. Better go earn our pathetic wages. You know, I'm curious what the rate wages would be. Rimsky, Intelligence has Makes me wonder, you know. Probably better. I mean, actually, I don't know. I would assume. You know what? I'm gonna look that up in a second. Well. All right. You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? Um, dude. Holy cow. Okay, so. An abandoned vehicle. You can't tell the good one, huh, Prince? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. You hear about Adrian? He's brought in Seattle, threw him out. His wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. Foreshadowing! Um, and most importantly, how is Adrian already back on the streets? That's my real big question. All right, Jacob's backyard, two o'clock in the afternoon. We got a packer. Yeah, it's not Green Bay, thankfully. I got nothing against Green Bay. Traffic. I'm Officer Hulahan. Hmm. Cars down the alleyway, detective. He's a hooligan. These cars always look so freaking nice. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. That's not very nice. You shouldn't say that about people. Unless they actually are. Then go for it. Alright, so what we got here? Registration slip? Okay. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Why Argentina? I mean, that is Argentina's flag. Must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. I mean, no. Not really. Oh, is that the front plate missing? Yeah. And it's missing a tire. How, like, I've always wondered how they do the Doing whole. The wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Like, do that. Just steal tires or pieces from a car. Is that a baseball? I doubt it. You doubt it's a baseball? Is this anything? Not sure this means much. Okay, Phelps. You're the detective. I just control your life. Is that a wrench? Well, that sound means we're done. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. All right, let's talk to the old man, shall we? Oswald Jacobs. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. 
always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. <coughs> anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. All right, tell me about it. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Mm, I believe that. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. <laughs> Speaks Mexican, oh great. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Eh, nah. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look Sorry. for yourself. I was curious. Ain't no law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. We ain't accuse you of anything. We're just saying you're wrong. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. That's fair. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red Bruh. Top stands out a mile. He looks like Walter. What exactly did you Jeff see Dunham. them take? <laughs> they was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Because mm, we know about flag. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? No. Nope. Have been played with the kids too. Well, let's we'll see this book, what of his. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Compared to the other ones. Now I'm cure. Uh, I'm not going to look too deep in that book. This place dry. Find a game well. What is a game well? It's a phone booth. As stupid as that is. The first two times I ever played this game, it took me forever to figure that out. Phelps, bad 1247. Yes, I said twice. I didn't How learn. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Thank you. Be polite. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? What? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. There's just one message for you, detective. Thank you. Order Packard, diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706 was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Uh. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Oh, great. If you haven't figured it out... Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. So we'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. 
the the book, the young boy, Argentina's a Catholic nation. That's all I'm. Oh, I. Mm -mm. Where is he? Bruh. You can drive. <laughs> this has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. I mean, that's a little insane. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. Oh, this is the way? Bad jokes are bad. All right. Is that the cop who won a medal and is solving all the cases? No. Yes. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pekowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? A week. I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. What? <laughs> Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Mm. No. Nah. Packard, Valdez, a snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. So tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. So let me get this straight. He gave you money for you to spend money. That seems legit. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. Little shaky, but I still don't believe him, so I'm gonna doubt again here, or bad cop here. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you gonna tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel. Like the Archangel. I have no surname. Mm. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? A mechanical. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. But that's gonna be a no. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. He flat out said it. If you haven't caught on what I was saying a second ago, he just flat out said it. But we're gonna talk about his notebook for a second. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Okay, he just basically admitted to, you know, 
with the little boys, which is not cool. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of them in a couple of hours. No, throw them in a cell, you at least. I kind of want to just pull my gun out and just finish them off myself, but probably not the best idea. Let's go to the Dewey Brothers, shall Can we? Can to this one? And where exactly are we going? We're going here. Oh, these cars look so freaking nice. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That as well. <laughs> what do you mean that's not what you were trying to say? All right. The Dewey Brothers membership, or viewership membership. Can we drive one? I feel like that's a good idea. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. All right. Freak? Cola King. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Oh, gosh. A used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you choose to. I hate puzzles. Apparently I'm really good at puzzles. Uh Hmm, we're missing the a red one. One left. Yes, thank you. Oh, look, it's Gabriel. Of course it is. Gabriel Delgado is missing a 3 quarter. I don't know what I was hitting there. Doesn't tell me anything. Seems irrelevant. Well, why don't you tell me clue things? No good. We need diplomatic plates. Hmm. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Dewey here. Hope we'll... If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Well, how do you know about us? Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Man, he's got a good face, but wrong. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Um, uh, let's go with his name in the book. Let's go with his name in the book. You got, brought you the robbery too. Details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. 
Oh, random sneeze for no reason. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. You're not keeping a straight face, so I'm gonna say you're a lot down. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3103 Hill Street. What the? And tell him from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm gonna kick his butt from here to kingdom come. We already played that game. Wait. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. This guy's straight face is amazing. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. And they have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Right. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. Yeah, it shouldn't be that bad. I mean, that was pretty disappointing. You know the way. You can drive. So, where do you want to go? I mean, the address that he gave us. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So, things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You'd scare people out of the theater. In God's name would want that. I don't know. People stop the idea of talking in color and look what we have now. Okay, now I'm curious. When was the first 3D movie? The Power of Love in 22. So this would have been delayed. Huh. Close, but no. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Be right back. Alright, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a sneezing fit. You know how much fun those can be. What the hell is this guy doing? Whatever I want, sir. Alright. Here he is. Apartment 3. Okay. So part three, derp a derp. There's three. Wait. Hey, keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep. Oops. I went to the wrong door. Yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes. I understand. <laughs> Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Of course you would. So how far... Ooh. Argentine flag. Wait, she's pregnant? Yeah, don't move. When you go into labor and he's not around. Huh. You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already oh. it's hard to provide for us. I can see the bump now. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Looks like someone's been here. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up.
We can go back? Anything out here? There's a shed. And we'll just go to the shed. And there's nothing useful in here. Oh, wait. Tires! Huh. Two Packard Looks tires. Like Valdez gets his wheel back. Flower? Nope. Hmm. Why are we constantly making the sound? Oh. Diplomatic license plates. All right. So. I believe we have everything we need. Um, if you haven't figured this out yet, this is actually a DLC qu qu case if you play the base game. So there is no, like, pay anything collectible here. Um. What's that? Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Certainly, Gabriel's pride and joy. Hmm. What's up? You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Okay. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Why do you know that, but I believe you? His honor, Anna? He said to his friend, try to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, do we? He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. You know what? I accept that. I understand. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Mmm, the eye fluttering... The looking away, the two plates of breakfast. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. But, the... But the breakfast plates. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Oh, dude. Come on. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. Is that a challenge? I'm pretty good. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. Yay. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine art. Alright, so I'm gonna do something a little is, let's go stop these clowns and get them off the street. That's the top line. Uh doesn't help me. You can drive. Illegal uh, street race. This should be fun. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. 
Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. True Are facts. you talking from experience? Ooh, maybe. All right. There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Quick, they're getting away. Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Getting away. Oh. Lose him. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. The kids used to steal cars themselves. Oh freak, that guy got destroyed. Okay, that car also got destroyed. I have to peel off the sidewalk. You're calling the mother. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Delgado is our boy. Forget the others. Come on. No, no. Okay, we're still in this. I mean, who drives in a river? And also, you think DLC missions would be harder? Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. You ain't shit, Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Uh. What? Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. Probably. But that's not what, what we're worried about. You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. But what about him? He didn't do anything. So let's be honest. They all know better. Ooh, that was in some city damage, but five for five ain't bad. But, again... He's getting away almost nothing. I don't like that. That's what I'm more worried about. Alright, this case gives you absolutely nothing. Besides a little bit of story. So, next time on L.A. Noir, let's go on to the next case. I'll see you then.